If you're like me and are asking yourself the question of what does a wedding DJ actually do and why do they charge what they charge? Don't they just show up, plug in their equipment, and play music for five hours and leave? I mean, how hard can that be? If you're asking yourself this question, please stick around. I'm gonna take you through and show you step-by-step step what a wedding DJ actually does in order to plan for someone's special day. back to another video. If you haven't watched one of our videos before, my name is Travis. I'm the owner of Red Tie Entertainment Incorporated. We are a professional wedding DJ company in central Pennsylvania. Give a little bit of background about myself. Yes, you got it. I am a wedding DJ. I've been DJing professionally doing weddings for the last five years. I've been DJing as a hobby mixing for the last nine years. So I have a little bit of experience in this area and I'm gonna go through and take you step by step and show you how we, as Red Tire Entertainment, plan a wedding and do a wedding. We, in fact, are the DJs. We do not just show up and plug in our equipment and play music. That is a small part of what we actually do. There's a whole process with how things are nowadays, us being the DJ, we have assumed this role of, we're kind of more almost like a day planner because we are the MC. We are the ones, not only do we DJ, we MC, so we're letting guests know what's going on, where everything's located, where to be, and what's what's happening next, basically. So for us, we create an hour by hour timeline to show for us basically what to read off of, to communicate with the other vendors, the guests, on how the wedding day should go. So if we just take a step back for a second, we're gonna look at my website here, and if you can see, I tried to outline, we have four main points of how our process works for our clients. So they can easily understand it, they know what to expect, and we can just have this be smooth sailing through each step, and we can have a successful wedding day. Because really the DJ, they're like, in my opinion, the main person. They are like the make or break person for the wedding. So first off, what's gonna happen with our clients? They're going to book us. We have four packages that we offer. Once you pick a package, you wanna sign the contract with us. We do everything digitally. We try and make it all easy. So we can send you over that contract digitally, digital sign it. You're booked in our program. Our program will block out that date. So we cannot double book your date. That date is stuck with us. And then we can move forward after we've cleared up all those little formalities and that you know that you want us to be your DJ. To set things into perspective, the booking date really happens about nine to 12 months, sometimes two years in advance of the wedding day. So the next phase is the planning. So the planning, we actually have a bunch of time, but some of my couples do this, I wish people wouldn't, is wait until the last month to try and plan things. Um, but also, so with our program, we make things easy in this area as well, where we have a digital uh, client portal, which I'll pull up on the screen here. And this portal, it shows you your invoice, it shows you your planning sheets, and also all the emails that we've sent back to each other. So it's like a central hub for us to communicate and know where we're at in the process. Here, is our example of what our client portal looks like. It's super simple, super self-explanatory. This is gonna be the spot where they will have our information, they will see all their emails that they've had with us and unread emails, forms that they need to complete, and an invoice. So this is where you can see all the information here. Down here we have our, these are the incomplete forms, so if they were to click on one of these, this would prompt them to our ceremony planning form, Everything's branded with, with our company, if, or our logo and all that. So this is their planning form. And this really, it takes them step by step of what events they could have and then songs to, to coordinate at their wedding. This is the, the main view. This is what each and every one of our clients gets. It's super easy. I've gotten a lot of great compliments with this. Um, it works out really well. So, right, so we'll go back to our website here. So once they book, 
Now we start the planning process. We That's when they get the portal. They are supposed to have these completed with our assistance 30 days before the wedding. Why 30 days? Because this gives us enough time to tie any loose ends, to figure out any questions, and to bring us to the next step. So once the time, the planning sheet is all filled out, brings us to our, our step three, which is our timeline. So once our clients are done with their planning forms and we have that 30 day out consultation, we'll sit down, or in this case, we've been doing Zoom meetings, we'll sit down and we will verify all the information that they have in the planning form to make sure they have the, it's the correct songs, it's the correct order, answer any questions that they might have had or they don't know maybe what a game is or they don't know the order of events. We use our experience to try to let them know where to place each, each event and what will work best with that day. So this brings to so with the timeline, after verifying that information, we lay out a timeline, hour by hour. These are the events that are happening. These are the songs that we're playing, and I'll, I'll bring it up right here. So here's the timeline that we have coming up for our one of our next shows uh, next week. And I lay out all this basic information, right, where the venue is, their names. I lay down information, basics, so I know to verify this with the client as well, which package they got, how many guests are coming. The names of vendors is also important so that when you show up on that day, you know what the photographer's name is, who you're supposed to coordinate with, and who you'll be working with that entire day. So after the basic information, I start laying out the ceremony. You know, what time are guests arriving? What kind of music are we playing? Um, they pick songs, obviously, for the um, bridesmaids walking down the aisle, bride, entrance and a recessional after they get married and I just lay this out for the whole entire day hour by hour this is what it's going to look like um, so it really keeps me on track with what is going on and then this is really like our script this is what I'm using the day of to look at look over and to make announcements I put notes in there to let guests know what's going on and this is how I kind of flow with the day because the main purpose of the wedding day is obviously to celebrate the marriage and have a big party, but it's also for the bride and groom, for them just to relax, right? We just spent about a year planning and tying up all these loose ends and making, sending out invitations and making sure everything's just perfect. At least for the wedding day, the bride and groom can just relax, drink, eat, talk to their family, and just have a good time. It's my job and our job as DJs to kind of make the flow of the evening smooth for them to enjoy. So, once that's done, that's the timeline. So once we take care of the booking, once we take care of the planning process, once we finalize the timeline, it brings us to the actual wedding day. Now for the wedding day, I guess what happens first, obviously, is you show up. You know, you gotta think about setup and tear down time in addition to the actual wedding timeline. So depending on which packages our clients get, it's two to three hours of prep time before the wedding to get there and make sure all the equipment is functioning, everything works, everything's set up. And then once we got everything set up and everything's working, we go around, we talk to the vendors and we go over the timeline. While we did already send the timeline to the venue, just to make sure, just so that they have a copy at hand, they know what time we're coming, um, we do do that before we show up, but with the other, with the photographer, uh, the caterer, I like to go around, give them a copy of the timeline so that they know what times everything's happening and we all be on the same page. So that's what I do in the two to three hours before the actual wedding starts. So then obviously brings us up to the ceremony. You know, we just, we do the ceremony, we do the cocktail hour, we do the reception in order that we've already planned. <clears throat> Takes us about, you know, and once the wedding's over, uh, we always give our clients thank you cards. Here's an example of a thank you card. This is our branding thank you blank postcard. We'll write a personal note. So we do that with all of our couples. We'll send them, a, we'll give them a thank you note, probably put it in their, their gift box during the wedding. Um, and then it takes us, you know, about another hour, hour and a half to clean everything up. So then the wedding is done. Um, now, 
This is why DJs charge different amounts. Some of them might not be as thorough as our process. I'm very customer focused and I'm very empathetic to other people and how they feel and how I would want my wedding to be done, which is why I want to be very thorough. Um, and I've worked for other companies and I know what like the industry standard is, but now I can just take it and tailor it to our company's specific goals in, in helping plan of the wedding. So pricing comes down to the amount of work before the wedding is one thing and experience. So if you have a lot of experience, they're probably going to charge more money. Um, in basic economics, supply and demand, if you're a DJ and you charge $500 a wedding and you get swamped and you got 150 weddings in, in one year, if you just up your pricing, you're not going to get as many shows, but you'll get your shows will become more valuable. So as the supply grows, your pricing can grow as well. So that's something to always uh, watch out for for new DJs. When you do have the experience and you do have the shows, you can charge a little bit more money. So that's one thing that makes up pricing. Also the equipment, reliability of equipment. So we bring thousands of dollars of equipment to the show. And while this isn't a big factor for clients, like I can't, I can't just sell a client be like, well, we got the bigger and best speakers that are top of the line. So what also makes up the time, or the price I should say, is the amount of time that we have that requires us to plan and to prep for the wedding as well as the setup, tear down, and show. So look, if it's a five hour wedding, we spend already four hours, about four hours of setup and tear down. So for a five hour wedding, we have nine hours on that day just alone, plus the the consultations, the travel, and the preparation to organize all the music beforehand. So it could easily be 15 hours for, of work for a five hour show. So that you have to also take that into account. And then also like us, we have assistant, we have an assistant, so that person needs to get paid as well. And that all goes into the cost, travel, all that stuff makes up the price of why we charge and DJs charge what they do. So with all that being said, we're back doing informational videos. I had some time today to try and help some people. Um, that's really my main goal here is to just spread information, spread knowledge, share my experience with everybody else so that I can help them or help the DJ, help a bride and groom looking for a DJ that doesn't know anything about the process or what it's supposed to look like. So please, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Love to interact with some people, um, and I like, and I, and I just look forward to uh, continuing the YouTube journey. So, thank you, everyone. I have some other gig logs. We're finally back into wedding season. We got two weddings this coming up weekend, and all the way up until August. I think we have about or is it November. We have about ten weddings. It's August right now. So. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for some more gig logs and other videos.